Our goal, I mean, in terms of uh, the, the, the international community, is try to understand how brain activity gives rise to behavior. Now, up until recently, the tools that we had available were relatively primitive. We had a microelectrode that allowed us to record from one neuron at a time. Now, the problem is that uh, although we've surveyed the brain uh, one neuron at a time, there's 100 billion neurons, and it's clear that it's, that would take us you know, who knows how many hundreds of years. So we want to accelerate that. And so new tools and techniques that are available from optical recording have allowed us to accelerate that to several hundred neurons at the same time. But th with the Brain Initiative, we hope that by 2025, we'll get that up to a million neurons at the same time. Now, that is still far short of the 100 billion in the brain. But by systematically placing our, uh, our probes in different parts of the brain that we know are relevant for a particular behavior, we should be able to tease apart how those different areas communicate with each other and how the activity patterns in those areas give rise to very complex behaviors. Now, that'll be done in model systems, but what's really exciting is that we now have the capability of doing similar experiments in humans. And these are humans with epilepsy who, unfortunately, uh, have to have a brain operation to implant electrodes that allows us to record from up to two weeks continuously to try to isolate the, the focus of the seizure. But while we're recording those neurons, that will allow us to eavesdrop on what different circuits and different parts of the cortex, how they're contributing to things like language, which is uh, unique to humans, and, and how humans make decisions. These are very, very uh, high-level cognitive functions. But for the first time, we ha will have access to them at the level of the really uh, many, many parts of the brain simultaneously.